All right, so this week in inversion flow, we're going to be doing an inverted V to either a scissor stand or a pole sit, depending on whether or not you're doing it from the floor or up in the pole. So we're going to do both, all right? The first thing you need to remember when you're doing any kind of invert is that you have to, have to, have to have your hips in front and your rib cage behind. So no matter whether or not you're doing it from the floor or up in the pole, you've got to get your body to that position before you actually invert, okay? So when we're starting here from the floor, I've got my toes on the floor, heels up, right? Even in your heels, you're on your toes. You've got your hips in front and your rib cage behind. So the pole should be intersecting you right in your middle, right underneath the rib cage. Inside hand is very low, outside hand is right above it. So both hands are not above your head. So you want to keep them nice and low and bent, okay? Do not let your arms straighten out when you go back into your inverted V. They have to stay a little bit bent, all right? 